Chris. Well, Mr. Chair, and so Senator Peake, the, the, the situation I talk about, so if they're not menstruating for nine months because they're pregnant, they have a child, they deny that it's their child or that they were pregnant, it seems to me that information would be relevant because if they're menstruating, clearly they're not pregnant. Mr. Chair, but if it shows Mr. that they are not. It is actually chair. possible in some circumstances for you to menstruate please while go, you're pregnant. Please go through the chair. Mr. Senator chair. Boyce, go. Mr. Chair, thank you. Perhaps some members of the committee don't understand that menstruation is not always predictable or consistent, that a person can menstruate three times a month, sometimes they can skip three months, sometimes it's like clockwork, but it would be very unreliable data to try to use this as some sort of a legal inference. I, I would argue there are, there are other uh, ways of collecting information and other probably relevant forensic uh, pieces of information that might be useful to an investigator. But minstrel health data, I think the case made by Senator Boisco is pretty relevant. My name is Mary Atanat. I'm a nurse. Didn't come here for this, but I really appreciate there are women here. Oh, my God. Thank you for you the women that are opposed. here. I support. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 